Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. Um... Yep. Yes! Oh. Oh, Beat it, kid. Gee. Gee, huh? Christ, help me. Okay, um... So, hey everyone, I'm Avril. Welcome back to Oblivion. Um, it's been a bit... This is becoming a theme, I know, but it has been a bit since I recorded this. Uh, some may have noticed... You know, a, a slew of... games wherein I am like, hey, it's been a while since I recorded this, because I think it was like a month and a half since I recorded Castlevania and like about as long since I recorded Valkyria Chronicles. Um. Hmm. Sorry, I'm examining my map here to try and find Squirrely Dealy. East? I think it's this dot. Um, much has changed at that time, and at the same time, not much at all. Ooh, good frame rate. Um, I finally picked up Elden Ring, and to be frank, it's basically everything that I could want. Um, there's something that I feel you kind of miss in a lot of uh, RPGs like this. Morrowind isn't as bad about it, but in, in Skyrim and, and Oblivion and a bunch of other RPGs of this general style of big open world stuff, um, you kind of feel like well, whatever, I'll just top off, you know, like, especially if they have a day-night cycle, you're like, I can just wait. Uh, and that feels kind of lame. I feel like it isn't as, as good as it could be. It's not as substantial. There's not as much going on. Um, and you get a really good uh, level of, of, you know, control and understanding and acceptance from, like, say, Dungeons & Dragons. Because in Dungeons & Dragons, it's like, I can go as far far as I possibly think I can go and then I have to long rest um, and and Dark Souls saying okay your long rest that's a bonfire you sit there it's a game mechanic instead of just saying you can just wait like weeks at a time whenever you want to um, I feel like that really helps it because it's like this is straight up and down what I'm doing this is where I'll be you know Not my will. Ah! My will won't. Goblin skirmishers. Hmm. Um. Yeah, and so to say, like, this is being intentionally on purpose mechanic. We are we are putting a long rest here. And, like, it works the same way as D&D, &D too, as well. Your health gets topped off. Three Feather Goblin. And a Three Feather Goblin Berserk. Um, it even works the same way, where, like, your health gets topped off, and you, um... You get all your spells refilled. I noticed they seem to be healing from this quicker than I would uh, have liked. That's okay. Gives me a chance to... No, well. Hardy har har. Do I have a separation? Nah. Dedication.
Oh, here we go. The Elden Ring run, uh, running and stuff like that is really smart. I really <laughs> appreciate it. Ah. Blades go up. Elden Ring is understandably very, very solid. Of that, you can be sure. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I do have healing. Gives me a chance to get some of the weight out of my pack. Again, I love blocking with your bare hand. Yeah, there's a bit that I, because initially going into Elden Ring, I was like, I'm not LPing Elden Ring because everyone has been LPing Elden Ring. Like, I would like to carve out some niche for myself. I know that I'm a particularly generic channel, but like, I should have some niche, right? Um, like Markiplier, who has played a Souls game like once. He played, like, Dark Souls 2 to be like, haha, look at this hard game. I'm gonna make Bob play it, and he's gonna <laughs> suffer. And, like... That's different. Like, Markiplier did a full-on, like, actual Elden Ring stream. And I'm not one to gatekeep here. I'm happy that all these people are enjoying Elden Ring. Particularly people who have never experienced or understood a Souls game before. I'm very pleased that, like, more people are getting it, and, like, in a lot of cases, they're going backwards. I saw the funniest post. I saw an Elden Ring neophyte, an Elden newbie, go back to Demon Souls, and he was like, I don't understand where the, where the, the, like, um, oh, I'm trying to think of the, the little, there's these little things that you can, um, sit down at that aren't bonfires, they're, like, half bonfires, and he's like, where are these? I don't. I don't know where these are. Where's the, uh, the, the, like, <laughs> where's all the different things I, I use to do all these things? Where's, and, like, he, he's just so completely lost. Because <laughs> he's gone backwards, and, like, he doesn't have all of these new, amazing, um, these books are probably not helping. Yeah, I'm carrying 20 pounds of books on me. Not good. <laughs> Oh, here we go. How do I recharge stuff? I've not done it yet. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Too much. These... Oh, these are weight. I can drop these, right? Yeah, not wearing them. I must have picked them up by mistake, I guess. But yes, I'm happy to see everyone playing Elden Ring, but like... There are two reasons that I did not LP it. If I was LPing it, I would be starting it later because I usually like to play Souls games after they're new. Um, when Sekiro, the last Souls game, came out, I was playing um, Devil May Cry 5. Because Devil May Cry 5, I know that I could just jump in and be like, yeah, whatever. But I knew that Sekiro would be so esoteric that I would be much happier to play it after... <laughs> I do it to myself. It's my own fault. 
I would be much happier to play Sekiro after uh, everyone has already gone through it ten <laughs> times and written the guides and we understand like, oh yeah, of course, you need to talk to this child a th like 30 times in a row to get rice. And you have to say no to this guy, but you have to say yes to this guy. And also watch out because you might softlock your game because that happened to me. I had to do some dumb shit to unsoftlock my game. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, I want to have this up so I can have my weapons ready. See, one of the problems about um, Oblivion also is that, like, there are so many things in this game, and, like, for this LP, I really want to be doing them all, you know? Ah. Pardon me, sir. Like, I really do want to be doing every single piece of this, of this game. Um, that's what's fun for me. But, like, I run into something of a problem because... Do I have a heal somewhere in here? Yes. <clears throat> I run into a bit of a problem with that because, like, that means that I'm carrying around all the shit for all the oh. stealth stuff and all the light armor stuff and all the heavy armor stuff and all the different weapons. Like... I enjoy having a, a good cadre of weapons in, in like, Fallout or an Oblivion, oh. an Elder Scroll, you know? But, like, the game kind of isn't built for that. You're supposed to specialize, but I hate specializing. I love just diving in and, like, making myself good at everything. Like, I only I only resisted the, the urge to do this in... Um, Uh, Morrowind because I was like I I went in with the full intent of like I'm gonna do this in this specific manner as hard as I can for as many times as I can for as long as I can um what's my personality here we go wait did that say jokes told oh like in the Conversationizing. Personality. What's positively affecting this? Dwarven shield. Oh. So what if I strip it? Drop to 30. Hmm. I'll drop this. Get back to my cool mohawk. This is such a thin mohawk. And, like, the way that it makes it look like you're balding on the sides. Erg. Cool. Is that uh, everything, then? Oh, a Dwarven Mace. 27 pounds. Or 27 units, rather. But yeah, I'll probably... Actually, no. I totally won't be able to resist doing it in um, Skyrim either for when I eventually play that. And I will, assure you. Um, I have full intention to play Skyrim. I, I love Skyrim. I know that, like, I, I've talked at length about Morrowind and, like, how I love it, but, like, I, I do actually love all of them. Um, and like, I have even said like, Morrowind is my favorite, but also Morrowind is terrible to play. Like Morrowind is ugly and it's, has a bunch of like really obnoxious mechanics. Ah. Oh, that, yeah, back out there. Is unarmored a skill? Light armor. No, I guess they must have dumped it.
You're gonna pound on me a little bit. Ow! I hate block sometimes. I hate training block just because, like, you have to be actively doing it. That was one thing that I actually really do like about Morrowind. That's a, a specific game mechanic in Morrowind that I think is, like, really, really solid. I think that one is, like, supreme of just, okay, do you have a shield on? Okay, you'll just block. Like, putting in works, uh, putting in work into active defense is cool. Um, because then you can, you can get, like, perfect parries and cool shit like that. But, like, there's not that much perfect parrying in this game. Um, you don't really need to use it. And, like, that's a shame, because, like, parrying is a cool mechanic. Mac Matt McMuscle, I've talked about this already, but YouTuber Matt McMuscles, uh, while talking about Castlevania Lord of Shadow, a game I'm also LPing, and it's a fantastic LP you should go watch, but Mac Matt McMuscles, about the game Lord Castlevania Lord of Shadow, said that if your game has a perfect parry mechanic, that is something that will that's evergreen. You know, that'll always be cool. It'll always be cool. It'll always add depth to your game. And it's, it's basically never a bad decision. As long as you can code it right and have it be interesting and, and fun, a perfect parry will literally always add cool stuff. That's why we keep going back to look at, um, you know, Evo Moment 37, I, I believe, is the specific moment. To explain this, because fuck you, I love Evo Moment 37. Um, in the game Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, there's a mechanic where you can parry moves. This means that uh, you can actually... Let me see here. This means that you can, um, you know, parry any move. So a lot of people were like, I don't like this game. I don't even want to attack because if I attack, somebody is going to parry me and then I'm going to get my ass blown up. And that's fair. That, that, it, that can be problematic for some people, but like, it makes it a very, very cool game to actually watch, you know? Um, and in Evo Moment 37, something amazing happens. The character Chun-Li has a kick wherein she kicks, like, I think 18 times where it's like kick, 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 or six kicks, and then a pause for her to swap to her other leg, and then six more kicks, and then a slightly longer pause, and then a slightly different timing of kicks. Um... So obviously this is a very, very hard thing to parry. And in Evo Moment 37, like super supreme mega champion Daigo, one of the best, like best fighting game players of all time, like forever. Um Did I this is only three gold. I'm gonna drop it. Um Daigo does the unthinkable and parries every single hit perfectly. The even crazier part is that he does so on no health where any touch would kill him. And his opponent is so fucking freaked out by, by this move that Daigo is able to complete the combo and drain the rest of their life and kill them. It's legitimately one of the coolest things I've ever seen anyone do in a video game. And, like, it would be cool if I saw someone lab that and try for hours until they finally got it, like, in their bed, you know? Like, that would be cool in and of itself. But the fact that it was done in a tournament, in the winning match of the tournament, while the, the defender is on low health, that's what that is part of what elevates it to absolutely superhuman 
And like, think about that, game developers. When you put a parry in your game, you are potentially going to make that happen. Um, so anyway, yeah, I do enjoy having perfect parries and active defense. I think those are fun and cool. Um, this is a minor thing. There's this cool mechanic in Dungeons and Dragons. Goblin Shaman's Headless Zombie. Oh, specifically. Oh, this would be a good time for my shock shield. You're going to be shockerizing me. I want your mind wounds. There's that mechanic in Skyrim where flames do more damage. Uh, cold drains your stamina and shock drains your magic. Is that the case in this game? I don't actually know. Oh, gross. It has titties. That's weird, man. Um, let's do that so I can see a little better. Let's buff up a bit. Oh, let's do that. That'll help. Hmm. Oh, yeah, here we go. Nice. Fine Iron Dagger. It's only two pounds. I'll take it. It looks like their Zombo uh, died as well. Wow. <laughs> I don't care what I have to drop to use that. Not to use it, just to take it. Oh! Oh! It has uses. It's real. It's for real. These are one gold. I'll drop like 30 of these. I'll drop another 30. Awesome. So that's how it works. You plot along, putting one foot before the other, look up and suddenly there you are, right where you wanted to be all along. That's beautiful. Okay, and then, could put a point in a lock. Let's, let's do some more speed, huh? Or maybe agility. Well, let's do that. You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. Who the fuck are you? That's good. You'll need a clear conscience for what I'm about to propose. Also, what the fuck are you talking about? Gasp, who are you? Oh, God. Say nothing. You know what? That, te that tells me that this is a fucking dark brotherhood. I can smell it. You fucker. <laughs> Explain yourself now. In due time, dear child. Fuck you. In due time. I'm probably older than you. I'm an First elf. I live longer than you. I am Lucian Lachance, speaker. Oh, God. Don't I summon your brother. ghost or something in, in Skyrim? And you. You are a cold-blooded killer, capable of taking life without mercy or remorse. The Night Mother has been watching, and she is most pleased. I don't, I don't think I killed anyone. And so, here I am. I come to you Does with this... an offering, an opportunity is, to is this... join our rather Does the guy in the arena count? Family. I don't have an option to tell so, him to fuck off. I have your rapt attention. 
Splendid. Now, there you will find a man named Rufio. Rufio, Do huh? this, and the next time you sleep in look. I'm no murderer. No. The night mothers. Now. Your path is clear. Send Rufio to his death and the Dark Brotherhood. Oh my god, the Blade of Woe. That's the thing that you get in... Well, it doesn't look like this, but a thing called the Blade of Woe is... We'll embrace you. Here's the thing, guys. I've heard that the Dark Brotherhood's cool in this game. They might be, even. They might be cool. This might be the best quest in the game. You know what? I'm role-playing. Fuck the Dark Brotherhood. And you know why? Morag Tong for life. The Morrowind equivalent to the Dark Brotherhood is a million times cooler than them. Am I supposed to be impressed? Am I supposed to be impressed? Ow. You elves are all the same. All flesh and no fury. Take that! I'm just warming up, you pathetic worm! God, I really I let me kill him. What I want is to be able to kill him. I don't want him to fucking fall unconscious. Gotta like drag him into the light. Fall down and bleed to death. Do your worst. Do your worst. You're out matched, elf. Matched, elf. That the worst you can do. I might need to crank it up to this. He has been killed. And now that link has been severed forever. Good. Fuck him. Fuck the Dark Brotherhood. Morag Tong for life for real. Give me all this. I'm looting your corpse, you stupid... Yeah. I don't care if this means this is non-canon. I hate this guy. For real, I don't think the Dark Brotherhood is cool. I think they're too edgy for their own good. Yeah. Killed him, stripped him naked, left him in a cave. There's your champion. <laughs> like <laughs> look it's possible that it's cool but anyone playing this game is totally welcome to play play it for themselves anyone watching this lp is totally welcome to play the game for itself um that's weird. What's the point of this? It looks like it goes to nowhere. Like it goes into un like untextured area. Um <laughs> All right, I guess we'll leave. Um, 
Hmm. I guess they had to come up on me while I was sleeping, because... Wouldn't dare try to tussle with me while I'm awake. Meet Jack Thomas and John Thompson over here. Um... Yeah, so that was... Sorry, let me address this further. I understand if people are upset that I'm not seeing it for my sake. I think that for the people who are like, I love the Dark Brotherhood questline and I would like for everyone to see it, I think that's fair. Um, for people who are like, I'm upset that you didn't do the LP in the way that I did, that I would like. I hate you. <laughs> no, um... My LP is going to happen the way that I, I have it happen, because the way that I would play this game will be unique, you know? <clears throat> because I, I think that it should be unique to me. There we go. Well, I'll come back. I got to go hawk some shit. Actually, I can do that off screen. To clarify, I ad I fully admit it's possible that the Dark Brotherhood quest could be cool. But I have no interest in playing it. Because I don't like the Dark Brotherhood. And so my LP will forever just not have the Dark Brotherhood in it. Because I don't like them. And I am perfectly, perfectly content to just not play it. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't like them. And my characters don't like them. I, I just won't do it. Now, if it is cool, maybe I'll do it on another character, but this LP is going to stay in character. And I hate the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> uh, this is all I should say on the matter. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to name this episode starting the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Because, like... Yeah. <laughs>